Four receivers to the right side, one to the short side left on first down, and there is Simon with a dodge inside, spins off a hit, gets across the 40 to the 41, and will be very close to a first down. Jaden McC first and 10 from inside the 45. Back to the ground with Simon, and Simon's off to the races. 15, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, touchdown Regina Rams. It was Pickens touching the ball all around that time. As Simon gets the call, Simon hits the goal line, Simon gets the major score. First and 10, Regina. Pickton throws it out, complete to Simon on the run, puts on the brakes and then steps out of bounds at the 15 yard line. That matchup with Croker on Simon as well if you're the Regina offensive coordinator, and there goes Simon into the end zone for his third touchdown of the day. Well, we just saw another dimension of this kid with a huge catch, and he just goes back to the bread and butter and inside zone play, just storms right through. Third touchdown of the game for Atlee Simon. This kid is having the game of his life. Position now that Evan Gill is out with an injury. Second and 10, pass complete in the flat to Simon, makes a nice move inside, stays on his feet, across the 40, the 30, one man in pursuit, it's Evan Foster, he breaks away from him and gets into the end zone for his fourth touchdown of the afternoon. Thanks, Andy, here with one of the game stars and at least Simon, four touchdowns on the game. What did you have for breakfast? That was an incredible performance. Yeah, I don't know, I just came out trying to make some plays for the team. Uh, Everyone played, it was a team effort, not, it was just not me. Uh, receivers played well, line played well, Noah put the ball where it needed to be, so it was great. What we're seeing from this team is a balanced attack, which we haven't seen. What's been the change for you guys throughout the weeks of practice? Oh, well, just focused on being aggressive. Uh, being aggressive, a point attack. Uh, just not um, leaving the run game if it's not working in the beginning. Just keep turning at it and it works out in the last two games. What was said on the sidelines or what changed for you guys? It seemed like at the end of the first, right at the end of the first half and early in that second half, Manitoba really started to turn this game around, but you guys were able to recapture momentum and take the game over. What was said, what changed? Well, just leaders stepped up. Leaders uh, spoke for what they had to say and we listened. And uh, it was a do or die situation this game. If we lost, we were out of the playoffs. So we needed to uh, man up and come out and work hard. But well, you got some help from the Saskatchewan Huskies defeating Alberta. Now you've got a big matchup against Alberta uh, next week. How big is that game, and, and uh, you know what do they pose as a, as a problem for you guys? Oh, it's huge. Uh, for the guys that are in their last year, they don't want to go out uh, not leaving everything out on the field. So next year we're going to have to come out hard, play just like we did th this week. And uh, uh, Alberta has a great offense. They have very lots of guys that can make a lot of plays. So defense is going to have to come up big, and uh, we go from there. Atley, you've earned a rest now after a four touchdown performance. Thanks for your time tonight. Thank you very much. All right, and we saw more than once tonight after four touchdowns. Let's send it back to Andy Neal.